So it seems we may have all been misinformed ever so slightly with all the confusion around in the air regarding the GPSR situation with eBay, Northern Ireland and Europe and all the information as sellers that's been given to us. I'm currently doing a little bit of investigation myself but it seems like there may be a lot of information out there that isn't correct regarding this. And all us YouTubers are getting little bits of information here, little bits of information there and putting content out, myself included. We're going to go through some sales today, but while I'm recording this, I am currently going through some investigations with eBay. I'm actually in contact with one of their reps at the moment, trying to figure out and get some exact clarification on this. So hopefully I can get those answers for you by the time this video comes out. If not, we'll get it for another one. But just bear in mind, there might be some confusion regarding what items do and what items do not need the information when it comes to the GPSR. Let's jump into some sales. So these sales are over a couple of days, £29.99 we've sold the Pentax SBO 738S. So many numbers for a cal calculator, phone, phone, camera. I paid £10 for this from a charity shop. A set of three Panasonic digital house phones. These were £5 in the charity shop. I said I'm going to buy them regardless because even spares, parts and parting out you can make good money. I do like to split these types of things out because you can maximise the profit from that. But a quick sale, quick move on, £5 into £18, we'll take it. Ah, we have sold the, I can't really show you, I'll do a screenshot. The Elvis Presley key holding plaque thing that I paid £2 for from the car boot sale, along with the big Elvis Presley's home mat, mat what's it called again? Diorama type thing, not diorama, but what's his fucking name? Anyway, I bought that and this, paid £10 for that, £2 for this. This one is sold for £15.99. £15.99 £15 we have sold the little Virgin Mary and Baby Jesus figure by, I'm going to see if I can remember it off the top of my head, Oretta Figuro. Oretta Figuro. Nailed it! Ish. It's probably like Oretta Figuro. That's Italian for a start. It's Chech. <laughs> This actually came with a message on eBay. It said, thanks for accepting my offer, Ricky. Love watching your YouTube channel. Thank you. So Nicola, thank you too. Paid £1.75, I think, or £2. Was it 2 .50? You guys remember more than me. Whee! £14.99, we have sold the Sony 11 band digital receiver. It is missing the little hood cap here, which holds the battery to power the screen all mentioned in the listings. This could have got ahead of a lot more, obviously, but it is what it is. Owes me nothing. Bought in a big tech bundle. Sold it for £15.99, all in. £12.99, we have sold a backgammon set. I'm not going to open it because I think I've actually half packed it. This is the Gino Ferrari. Is it Gino Ferrari? Gino Ferrari. I was in the charity shop. As I was there, a gentleman walked in to donate some stuff. I saw it and went, can I buy that? She went, yeah, of course. It was £2.50, sold it for £12.99, all in. £10 all in for this vintage House of Martin chessboard. That's all it is, just a folding chessboard. It's an older one, £10. I don't know what else to say. Sticking with backgammon, we've sold the Cardinal. This was £4 from a charity shop. I want to say it was £4. I really want to say it was £4 or £2. It wasn't a lot, this one, even though it's the best one. This one is sold for £49.99. Keep an eye out for this brand, Cardinal, when it comes to things like backgammon. There are some sets out there by Cardinal, the Bakelite and the other big ones, that can go for hundreds of pounds. So really good brand to look out for. That was a fantastic sale. Not was, it is. It is a fantastic sale. It sold. £17 now, just clearing them on because I've already made more money, so anything I make now is pure profit. £17 for this BT Response 120. It hasn't gone to our mate Joe, but I'm sure whoever's buying it is going to really enjoy it regardless. Really cheap, this bundle now. Really, really, really cheap. I've had it for ages and nobody was buying it because I couldn't fully test it. I couldn't. I think, I think there's hundreds of pounds worth here. Sold for £23. Sold a Honeywell scanner. There's another scanner in there and two charging decks. I had it listed for 200. I had it listed for 150. I had it listed for 120. I've had it listed for 80. 50 just could not move them on so maybe they're not as worth as much as i thought they were but i'm pretty sure they are i just think if i if i could have fully tested them properly could have got the most money out of it i could have done really well as well but 23 pound again nothing from a tech deal oh that sold again really cheap especially leading up to christmas but i paid four pound for this sold for 21 pounds 50 brand new and sealed deal or no deal board game electronic version get it gone 
Yesterday I sent out loads of like really quite big offers to be fair, reduced and then sent out offers. And I messed up on this one a little bit, but I don't mind because it has gone to a subscriber of the channel. So I do appreciate that. These are vintage 1905 antique, I suppose, and 1895 chatterbox books. They're like books with like loads of weird bits of information in them. Just, I don't want to be too rough with them, but so you've got a horse and stuff there. And then the next page you could have like, how to tie a knot or stuff like that. These have sold for £7.99 all in, because I sent an offer out, I think. I'm pretty sure that's how they sold. They're bloody heavy, man. They're probably going to cost me a fiver to send them, plus the fees and stuff. I reckon I'm going to make £0 on this. Again, I don't mind, though, because it's all part of the clearance stuff, and it has gone to a subscriber. The message reads, Hey, Ricky, hope you're well. I'm fine, thank you. Thank you for your videos. They make my day. Have learned so much about reselling from them and it's helping me with my own little eBay shop, Serendipitous Infinity. What a fantastic name for an eBay shop. Thanks again for the offer. Take care, Ella. Yeah, it was an offer. So you're very welcome, my dear. I'm gonna have to have beans on toast after selling these for the rest of the week. Of course, I'm playing with you as well. Serendipitous Infinity. What a fantastic name. Go and check it out if you've got time. I definitely will be. Ellie, massively appreciate it on its way to you today. And that is all of the eBay sales. So I'm hoping I'm gonna get, I still haven't had an answer back from what I'm looking for, but let me take this off in a minute. What I'm coming to understand is, and I have done a little bit of research since finding out this information as well, and it is looking like this may be the case, but I'm waiting for some clarification from an eBay representative. We're all turning off our Northern Irish sales, our European sales, because we don't want to have to deal with the adding of all of this information to all of our car boot charity shop pickup secondhand vintage stuff representatives names contact information all that kind of stuff we you know anybody who is logical if you're northern irish or in the european union and you're looking at us guys going we don't want to do that work let's just turn it off with the information that we've got and you're sitting there saying you've got no reason to be turning that off you're taking the easy way out blah 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 you're just pissed and butthurt that you're part of the situation as well. Only difference is you're not getting the products. All right, you're being switched off. I get it, you're pissed, I understand. But to call us like cowards or taking the easy way out, damn straight I am. Damn straight I'm taking the easy way out. I don't want all that extra work. Nobody does. And if they do, it's because they've got a financial motivation to do that work. They might have a massive business and it's gonna be the only thing they can do, so they'll just do it. Me, selling a couple of chatterbox books is a deal or no deal board game, I don't have to. But, however, we might not have to be doing that. The information that I've recently received is anything that is made before the 13th of December 2024, when this legislation is in play, is exempt. It doesn't need it. It's only items that are made after the 13th of December 2024. That changes everything. Everything. Kind of. But most of our stuff, I'm talking about us car boot sellers, us charity shop thrifters, the people who sell things that are made before your mum was born. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm talking about us lot. Not you guys that go out there and get brand new electrical parts for houses and stuff like whatever. You do you as well. But if that information is correct, which I'm trying to get clarification from, I'm in talks at the moment, then that changes a lot of stuff for all of our stock. We might only have to put information in for the occasional item that we pick up. You know what I'm saying? Like, all of my stuff here, blah, 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 pre-13th of December, 2024, whatever. And then I might go out to Tesco's and there will be a deal on some Breville kettles or something, where it's like three pound a kettle and they sell for 35. But they were made on the 14th of December, 2024, I have to put that information in. And guess what? That information's probably really easy to find. And I'm guessing there's going to be some easy information grabbing going on when this actually comes into play because those companies will probably automatically add it to labels or barcodes or other things because they'll be shipping all around the world. So they might as well just slap it on everything they have and then we've got it as well. So I think, I'm just, like I say, I am clarifying. I can't guarantee this information at the moment. And what I'm trying to do is clear up any misinformation that's going around at the moment, myself included. I put a video out speaking on the back of Big Al's video who put a video out and however many of us there are because we're all confused, we're all in the dark, we've, we've got this half information thrown at us and we're like, what's going on? What do we need to do?
So we're reading forums, we're reading eBay pages, we're reading eBay community tabs. We're speaking to everybody but eBay. Al spoke to eBay. But the question that hasn't been asked is what actually qualifies and needs to be updated for this? We've just assumed, and eBay's made it seem like, everything. Everything. So I'm doing a bit of research into that and then we can find out and I'll, I will let you know. But anyway, vintage sales, let's move over. First up for £4.44, we have sold, I think it's the last of my Apple Watch bands that I've got. This one is called like something yellow, lemon yellow or something. Lemon cream. Jess will be like murdering me. Yeah, you got it wrong. £4.44. £3.33, we've sold the Pet Simulator little gold one. We've got a message that says, Hi mate, hope all is well. Appreciate you accepting the offer. The lad collects these, so this will be nice for him to come back to from our Holloway, Holloway? Holiday? in Cornwall. Keep up the great work, brother. Love your attitude to life and reselling. If there were more of you in the world, it would be a much happier place for sure. Well, I appreciate that, but I am a miserable cat at home. £3.33, Carl, on its way to you. Thank you, mate. I got a comment the other day saying, I'm two minutes and 30 into your video, and all I can see is you selling to your friends and subscribers. <sighs> Listen up, pal. I'll make Vinted where I can sell things cheap to anybody, but whoever watches the channel, and you know my Vinted account, they get first dibs. Stop being so salty, bruh. Three pounds and 33 pence, we have sold a little stack of Disney Animators collection. We've got three in there, I think. Pocahontas, Arna, and Rapunzel. But that was loud on the mic, weren't it? We Livy over at Livy97 on Vinted has made another purchase. Livy picked up the what was it? What did you pick up from me? Oh, the Cactus Flea t-shirt. £20 has picked up a bundle. Oh. oh, it is in there. The CD's in there. I didn't even add that into the description because I thought it was missing. So the CD's in there as well. Cool. Ah. <sighs> Slow down. Calm down. It's only a CD. Stop getting excited. Livy has picked up the Boombox wakeboarding, extreme wakeboarding, and the extreme skateboard. This is 1989, I think, this one. I'm pretty sure. And... The T2 heavy metal motorbike. So this actually works perfectly, but annoyingly you can't do videos on Vinted. So I'll do a video for you now. So this is from 1992. You activate his super shield. Shield's activated and then you... I'll have to go find that now, anyway. Damn it. But it works. £20 for the bundle. I love this table. Thank you, Livy. I massively appreciate that. I'll get here. We've sold the Jordan top from that lovely little pickup that I made the other day. Really, really nice one, this. Like light blues into dark blues. Just a decent, decent top. Sold for £12 and 12 pence. Oh, there's a message as well. Hi, Ricky. My husband Rob is a big fan of your channel. We watch the videos every night. Keep up the good work, Rebecca. Rob and Rebecca. Double salute, I appreciate you both. Thank you so much on its way today. Such an itchy nose today. No, I'm not doing cocaine. Oh, I bet you're doing coke, mate. Oh, I bet you're doing Charlie, mate. Oh, yeah. Five pound, we've sold the high-tech systems transformer, but oh, I, I don't want to try and transform it again. I've transformed it in the pictures. This one is sold to YouTube channel, Let Loose Toys. Go and check them out. I'll just read it out from here. Yes, yes, I've waited forever for something to pop up that I can buy from you to go into my collection. And to also have something that's came from yourself, Ricky. I still find that weird. I had to sign a card the other day for somebody. I'm not even joking. Oh. Massive fan of your channel and what you do, sir. And I would like to thank you as well as I've started my own channel now. Ah, I see. And I'd like to thank you as well, as I've started my own channel now, as watching you has gave me the confidence to do so, as not only do you sell and make great content, thank you, you speak a lot about real life issues which some can relate to, and it's helped me listening, and it's helped me listening to you and advice you give. Oh, plus your, oh, plus love your sense of humour. It's on point. Anyway, thank you again, and helping me in life. God bless you and your family from Let Loose Toys. Let loose on toys. Ah, let loose on toys. Go and check it out. I've got a funny feeling that's going to be a great channel. I haven't yet. I find it really hard to read messages. 
like paragraphs. I always do. What's it called when you look at a line, then a big space, and a line, then a big space? That's how I set it out. I mean, what you've done, what you've done is not incorrect. I just my brain can't. I get lost. So if you, if people are sending me long messages, can you try and split up the paragraphs, please? Otherwise, I'll get lost. Massively appreciate that, mate. Let loose on toys. Go and check them out. Five pound. Oh, that was that was difficult for me. We have sold the Nike top. Turns out it was women's. I didn't realise that. I thought it was like a men's medium, but it's not. It's women's. Really, really cool. Really, really smart. Fantastic condition. Love the marble effect. Just a really nice top. Again, I paid five pound for this one, or four fifty. Sold it for eighteen pounds. Thank you so much. I don't know if they're a viewer or not, but Painkiller, massively appreciate it. Fantastic name, that is Painkiller. I like it. Obviously, the last name's Pain because it's spelled that way. Painkiller. I'll see what you did there. Right, this next sale, you ready for this? Say. Did that in the shop as well. I paid six pounds for this, sold it for six pounds fifty. <laughs> Basically, I picked it up and there was some couple of parts missing, and the main tube to the thing is broken, but all the rest of it's still there, it's still cool to like play with if you're a kid and stuff. So I just listed it cheap to move it on and make some profit still. I paid six pounds, Sophie's picked it up for six pounds fifty. I made 50p. Shut up! Profit is profit, all right. So I do appreciate that, my darling. <sighs> just bad business. I should have checked it. I did say in the shop, I'll take a chance on that spares repairs. I, I could have split it out and paired it out, parted it out. But there wasn't enough on eBay sold or listed for me to warrant thinking that people had that kind of thing that they needed spares for. So I didn't bother in the end. Eleven ninety nine. We've also sold another one of those t-shirts. We've sold the Folk. I paid £3.50 for this. Had it listed for 7 It was half price day. Again, somebody else went... Uh, everything's half price, is it? £5.250. Thanks for the maths, mate. Shut the fuck up. Seriously, get a laugh, you lot. Sold for £11.99. Ah, Melly's made a purchase. She hasn't even sent the message. She didn't think I'd recognise her, but I do. We have sold this Adidas Own the Run XL running jacket. There we go. Brand new and tagged. I paid 8 or 12 for this on, Vin on uh, Whatnot, on Ricky's stream. And I've sold it for £22. So, Melly, I appreciate you. Say hello to Steve for me. Love to you both. Oh, and last but not least, we've sold the Feeler top. Now, this one, it's a really nice top, to be fair, but it's like a teenager's version. Feeler Van Gogh or Van Gogh Museum. It's reversible. And I sold it relatively cheap as well. Done a good deal for him and a good deal for me because I paid £5 for that one. But it came with a message that I didn't know that I needed to hear. And I did. I needed to hear it. So... Aries has picked this up and he said to me, let's read it together. I'm a long time, I'm not going to read anything too personal out. I'm a long time follower and I thought I'd make my first cheeky offer. I thought I'd grab this from my son, Adam. He also refers to you as the guru, as do I. I don't know about that, but I appreciate it. Let's make sure the mic's picking this up. Hello. You're an inspiration to me and the whole reason I started on my reselling journey a month ago. That's fantastic. But don't blame me if you get too stressed and your hair falls out and goes grey, because it will. Hope my offer isn't too cheeky, but if you don't get, you don't ask, of course. And I, I, I was putting Ada to bed at the time, so I opened the message and didn't respond. So I think he, just like most of us do with ADHD, we have this kind of overreaction, oversensitivity, where we think we've done something wrong when we haven't and all these kinds of things. Even though I'm, I've, I've worked on that quite a lot at the moment. I don't give a shit. <laughs> these days so he then sent a message saying I hope my hope my offer wasn't too cheeky lowball please feel free to counter offer as I'd love to have a conversation with you I'm also a professional cinematographer and photographer as my main job anytime you need any advice I'd love to be your go-to guy so I was replied to him and was like I'm so sorry mate I was a bit busy I opened up your message and I couldn't respond I was put Ada was Ada's a nightmare for bed I said, I don't think I could accept that offer at the moment because it is still quite a cool jacket, but I really appreciate the kind words, mate. I'll check you out because he left his Instagram and stuff. I'll put that up in a minute or already have. Who knows? And he said, please counter me with whatever you would accept. I really want the jacket for my son and I want to start this conversation with you professionally and personally. I like to play with numbers too, hence why I thought I'd grab your attention with my first cheeky offer. Honestly, name the price and let's make it work. Negotiations. I had it listed for 18, he initially offered 11, and I counted with 14, and he accepted, of course. I said, no, I totally appreciate that, there's absolutely no dramas, 
I've taken a look at what you're doing. You're really good. And then he said to me, thank you, bro. I really appreciate you and everything you've done to improve my life for myself and for my son and for the great deal. It was a good deal. He said, this is the bit that got me. I'm not a religious man. I'm not. I believe the word is agnostic. When you don't believe, you don't disbelieve. The reason why I don't believe is because I don't know. And yes, I know that all comes down to faith. You have to have faith. I'm not, I'm not religious. Not in that sense. But he said to me, I pray you go from strength to strength and you continue to inspire people. I pray the man upstairs gives you the strength to achieve all of your goals and aspirations. And most of all, he gives you the strength to keep doing what you do. You are a G. G for guru and G for gangster. I just said big up mate. I really needed those words. Thank you and the same to you. Because at that time I did. I needed that. I needed to hear that. I don't mind who people are praying to. I don't mind who's watching over me or who isn't. Just to know that somebody even has the energy to even wish that or want that or try that for me. Aries, bless you mate. And then we went into another message, which I'm going to leave out. So, £14 I sold that for. <laughs> Paid £5. Ariz, big up yourself. Hopefully I've put your links and your socials up on the screen because he's a fantastic photographer and cinem 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 cinematographer, I think. That's the word. He's really good. But yeah, I was really hoping that by the time I'd finished doing this section, my rep would have came back and spoke to me, but they haven't just yet, but I'm sure they will. So what I'll do is I'll gather that information. Right, hold on, hold on a minute, hold on. I've had a response back from eBay. So I reached out to eBay and said, good morning, everybody, hope you are well. Currently, I'm sure you can see there are lots of uproar and unsettling in the community regarding the GPSR situation. There seems to be a lot of confusing, misleading articles and information floating around. Can I just try and get a little bit of clarification on one thing, please, if that's okay? Can I ask, my understanding now is that if the item was made before the 13th of December 2024, then the information required is not actually required. If the item was made after that date, then all the information is required. Is that correct? Meaning anything before the 13th of December is exempt. Would love some clarification on this. Thank you so much. And they responded, hey, thank you so much for contacting eBay. I know the clarification on the GSPR isn't the clearest. Wait, is it GSPR or GPSR? bloody GPSR, they're talking about the general safety, they got it wrong. Hey. I know the clarification on this GSPR isn't the clearest, as it wouldn't be an eBay policy, rather a regulation requirement. We can only direct our sellers to the GSPR article. However, I do know that even items made before December 2024 would require this information. The misunderstanding could be the mention that if products have already been sold in the EU or Northern Ireland, before December 13th, there should be no need to provide GPSR related information as long as the products are covered by Directive 2001-95-EC and conform with it. So it seems like it is still very confusing. There's still lots of information floating around saying you can, you can't. I've got people on my YouTube sending me comments saying, you fucked up, you need to check your facts and get things right. And this is what's basically spurred me on to do some more research into this, because I thought, am I wrong or am I right? And the truth is, at the minute, it's still mega murky and mega unclear. So there's the response. I'll pop that into the video. Do your own research as well, is my advice. Good luck out there. In the meantime, I suggest you go and do some research too into whether used goods from before this legislation, 13th of December 2024, require the information or not. Let you go and do some digging. I'm going to compile a nice little video together and I'll be back with the information. In the meantime, this is the video that I was talking about where I've mentioned about us all turning off Northern Ireland.